All right, frequency separation made simple. Hi, I'm Joel Grimes with the Joel Grimes Academy, and I'm going to teach you how to do a really quick frequency separation technique. Now, you may have seen a lot of the, uh, different techniques, and you've heard that term. Maybe you've never heard that term at all. This is basically how to get really cool, very quick skin uh, retouched on a beauty um, uh, fashion type model or beauty headshot whatever um, and skin is important and so let's go through that now again I'm going to show you a very simple version of this now I think I always try to make things simple uh, for myself and also when I teach and so let's do that I'm gonna go and make three layer oh, uh, I already have one but two more duplicates of this layer command J command J that's twice I've done that so I got three layers on the second layer layer one here I'm gonna call this low Okay, that's my low pass, and I'm going to call the top one high. And we're going to counter, we're going to take a low and high and counter each other so that when they um, uh, are on top of each other with the blending mode, they basically counter each other out. So let me show you how to do that. So on the low, I'm going to go over to uh, filter, we're going to go to noise, dust and scratches. Now you could use Gaussian blur here, but um, someone showed me dust and scratches. I used to use uh, uh, Gaussian blur, but I leave it at the radius of 15. That's going to match the high pass here in a minute. So say OK. So that's important. To set that at 15 radius on the high pass or the high layer here we're going to go and do image apply image and because I did this kind of test this thing out it defaulted sometimes it doesn't default to all these little things sometimes it shows up at I think it's multiply uh, but we want to go on the blending subtract that's pretty darn important RGB is my channel. We're going to say on the layers, it, I think it defaults to merge the first time you do this. We're going to put it on the low pass, which is the layer right below. So, and then the scale is at 2 and the offset is 128. That gives me this gray uh, kind of uh, well, palette of, of what my, you know, high pass is built on. Uh, Opacity is 100%. That's it. You don't, and I also have, uh, I think, what? No, invert is not checked. So let's go OK. And then we're going to set that blending mode to linear light. Now, I'm going to I'm going to take and group these two together. So command G groups it. We're going to call this skin. Now, I would encourage you to build an action button so that you don't have to do this every time. So I have my action button it's sitting right up here. I built it. Oh, I don't know, a couple years ago and one click. And sometimes I forget. I have to go back and remember what I did, but okay, skin is that. Now, just on top of that, I'm going to go Shift Command and make a blank layer. We're going to fill it with uh, or overlay my uh, blending mode and at 50% gray. That's going to be my dodge and burn. There are so many dodge and burns techniques out there. We call it DB, um, but that's what I use. We're going to do one last thing. We're going to set the uh, uh, adjustment layer to. Um, um, black and white. And the reason why I do that is I pull it down and I want to see every flaw on her face. So now hopefully she's not in the room when you're retouching this because I've done demos, uh, workshops where <laughs> that happens. Poor thing. She has to look at it. All right. So we're going to go down to, I have two little icons here. I'm going to go not to the uh, spot healing brush, but the healing brush. Click on that. And I have, if, you, if I'm going to blow up here, my brush I've set to an elliptical um, so that when I'm on the spot healing brush, it's round. When I'm on the, not the spot healing, but the healing brush, I know I, I'm, I'm not on the wrong one. So that's why I do that. So let's blow it up here a little bit, get in here. Um, this is Bella, our model I shot last week at the Canon Workshop in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. I had a great group of people and Bella was a great model. So, all right. Let's open back up my skin uh, layer, uh, grouping here. We're going to click on high. We're on uh, our, our healing brush and I'm going to take my option alt and I'm going to go just below or around this little flaw right here. I don't know what this is, but we're going to go click and we're going to just kind of like paint in. 
So I've got a clone from somewhere. You don't want to clone from over here. You got to clone close to where you want to fix. Okay, so I'm just clicking as fast as I can click. I'm going around my little area here and I'm fixing. So what I do is I go around and make one big general pass. Okay, and it's keeping all the texture around. So it looks, this looks phenomenal. Um, but I make one big general pass. Let's bring this out of the way. Actually, we can hit the tab and we can clear out my palettes. Okay, and I'm just going to go along here and I'm going to clean up. So everywhere I start new, I go click on the Alt option and I just pick up a new area around it and it's as fast as I can move here I'm doing this. Now, if you're going to be doing this for a client and it's a beauty cosmetic shoot, you're going to spend more time than what I'm doing right here. I'm doing this as fast as I can because I want to keep this tutorial short so you don't get bored and you can learn this technique and then rock your uh, images. Okay, so that's the first, oh, we got a little section up here, a couple little spots up here. So now forgive me if I don't get every little spot. I, again, this does a great job on hair, by the way. Little frizzy, our little hairs that come down. I just clean them up like that. Here's one up here. Look how fast that does that. All right. Um, and I can go also clean out the eyes, uh, the, little, the little party lines. So let's fix some things down here. Every, every model is going to have some flaws. There's no such thing. I've had some models that were so close to being perfect that it, uh, you're, you just cannot believe it. But most of us in this world have little things that we got to fix. And that's part of life. I am making uh, our models look amazing. That's part of the joy of being a photographer. People say, thank you, Joel. And so when I do my retouch, what I want to do is, is have the model say, thank you, you made me look amazing. All right, so there's some little spots down here. We're doing a general cleanup. Um, I'm doing this so fast. Okay, and um, she showed up makeup ready. A lot of times when you have a really good makeup artist, this will help minimize some of this. But for the most part, um, you're going to have to do some work. Okay. What I don't want to do is make her look like plastic. I think we've come a long ways in our skin retouching techniques to where those, those days are a thing of the past, but that's how we started out. All right, so general pass looks pretty good. Now I can come back to this, so I'm not locked into it. There's a big patch here that needs to be worked on and we're gonna fix that. Okay, here's a hair up here bugs me. All right, let's make it a little smaller. All right, so that's my black and white. Let's uh, layer on top. So let's take that layer off. Let's sh let me show you a little bit closer here. Not a bad first pass. Okay. Now we're going to go to the layer that's called low. I'm going to go to my um, it's the lasso tool, and I'm going to pick up some areas here that need a little blending, and um, I'm going to go take like this, make a circle around the area I want to smooth out, and then I go up to uh, uh, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and it's defaulted to 15 radius or uh, pixels, and I think it's between but probably 15 and 25. You, 25 is going to be when you really are on, uh, you know, fixed mode. 15 probably be the low end. Um, I don't want to overdo this. so. The rule of thumb for me too is I can always go back and do it again once I, or you know, I can add to it later. So um, I'm going to say okay. Now, once I've done that once, Command D deselects that. But if you look up here at filters, Gaussian blur is what was defaulted in the last time. So if I do the Command F, I don't have to go through that again. So I go over here, I pick another little section, Command F. Command D deselects it. Here's another little patch. Command uh, F, Command D, and we're starting to fix all those little uh, areas. And I do this really fast here. And I just pick up some stuff here. Watch this thing disappear. There it goes. And then there's a big patch there that needs fixing, and right up here. That that might take a little more time up in there, but again, you guys get the picture of what I'm doing. Command F and that, look, oh, we got this little area right up here. So Command F, that fixed that. 
maybe a little highlight let's just blend that just slightly the tip of her nose here and that looks pretty good so I think I've fixed the general um, issues we're gonna go over here and turn the black and white off and look how amazing she looks and what have I been five minutes four minutes I don't know so let's turn it off turn it on oh yeah now next step turn the black and white back on is a dodge and burn so I usually go and bring the dodge and or the image down a little bit so I can see things I go over here to my dodge I'm gonna set it at a mid tones at three three percent protect tones and then I got my brush and we're gonna now on the alt and option button I can toggle between dodge and burn so um, it's on the dodge right now and I so let's say whoops I go here to dodge and then I go to hit the hit the alt option now it goes to burn I don't have to go over to burn and set it and so this allows me to move really fast through my model and there's a little patch here it's a little dark right there I'm gonna smooth that out there's a little dark, a light spot we're gonna darken that down whoop I went too far let's go command Z whoa that was really too far okay so we're gonna burn it down slightly I'm at three percent and then we got a little thing right here it looks a little bit dark and then I smooth this out right here because I have my black and white layer on it shows up the flaws just a little bit more and um, again you I think I, I could spend a little more time on here but I'm gonna go as fast as I can just so you guys get the point and when I do this I might take twice the amount of time which is not much but I can pretty much do this again in a, just a few minutes so I'm gonna take the eyes we're gonna go just a couple little passes there just to brighten her eyes up a little bit I can do that on a separate layer later if I wanted but I've already got my dodge and burn layer here so let's take the black and white off Ooh, man does she look good look at that okay now there's a few things I could fix like right there's a little dark in there so let's go back here we're on our dodge and I'm gonna go and just paint that down just a little bit now remember and you've seen this that if you go too far uh, too much on a dodge or burn you'll get some funky kind of color shifts and that's why you have protect the tones on but it's not hundred percent perfect and so there's some other techniques in the dodge and burn that you might want to check out but I'm just going to give you this really quick little thing right here so now that I've turned my black and white off I can see if there's a little few little flaws that I can fix and dodge and burn areas here just to smooth them out well let's now take the dodge and burn off and the skin off there's my before there's my after not bad folks for a quick retouch so I think that is something if you are uh, struggling with your skin and you need uh, a technique this is a very simple easy I was gonna say down and dirty but a uh, quick and easy uh, technique to work on skin and I've been doing this for about no oh, I don't know six seven years so um, and I know there's some new stuff out there but I just kind of like I got this is down pretty good so I hope you enjoyed this simple frequency separation technique that you can take and apply to your skin if you subscribe and hit the like button hit the little bell um, I can keep doing these tutorials for free and that's why I love teaching is to pass on things to you guys